Hi, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be walking you through AWS IAM. We're going to talk about concepts on IAM, like what are AWS accounts is. We're going to talk about AWS um, IAM components. We're going to talk about IAM identities, and we're going to talk about IAM policies and all of that. Anytime you think about IAM, or anytime you hear about IAM, think about authentication and authorization. In AWS, the first service you want to take a look at is IAM, because IAM is a service on AWS that governs authentication and authorization within your AWS account. As a company or as an AWS customer, you will own an account. In that account, you're going to actually build your resources from AWS services. You're going to have different engineers which you actually want to access this account. For example, you will have a John who is a developer. You will have Steve who is a cloud engineer whom you want to actually access this account. So definitely, you're going to be thinking about assigning credentials to these people to access the account and carry out their job function. So let's say, for example, you have an AWS account, and that AWS account has an account ID, no worry. In that account, you might actually have different AWS services you're making use of. You might have EC2 service, you might have the S3 service, you might have Big VC service, and different AWS services which you actually use in the account. Now, as part of your new to day functions, you might actually have different engineers who might be making use of the AWS account. You might have an engineer called John, you might have an engineer called Steven, and you actually want these engineers to access the AWS account and carry out their job function. That is not possible if you don't make use of AWS IAM. So with AWS IAM, what you're going to do is you're going to actually create IAM users. You're going to create IAM users and you might create an IAM user called John. You might create an IAM user called Steven. And what you're going to do is that you're actually going to give the credentials of the IAM user called John you might give that to the engineer called Joel. And when you create the credentials of the IAM user called Steven, you might give the credentials to Steven to actually access this AWS account. The process of giving John and Steven access to their account is actually known as authentication. So we talk about authentication, we simply mean that it's the process of validating that an identity is actually who he says he is. When John and Steven actually have access to their account, it doesn't mean that they can be able to access the resources or the services in their account. So what you're going to do is with AWS IAM, you pretty much have to give John or Steven access to the resources or to the services through the use of policies. So that is why we say IAM is pretty much the service that is used to govern authentication and authorization. Because when a user is actually authenticated to an account, that user doesn't have access to any of the resources. For that to happen, you must assign a policy to that user. Based on what you have on that policy, that defines what the user has been able to access or do in that account, and what he or she cannot do in that account. There are four components of IAM. We have users, groups, robots, and policies. In this components, we actually have three of them, no less, and identities. So in IAM, we have three identities, which are the user, the group, and the robot. But why is the identity on IAM? An identity is nothing but a principle that is authenticated within an AWS account. So we have a user identity, we have a group identity, or we have a role identity. So let's talk about what an IAM user 
is going to be doing for us.